Hey everyone, my name is Troy from Tech Games Etc. And today we're going to talk about this whole Hyrule Warriors thing that uh, Nintendo uh, revealed today um, during Nintendo Direct. Now if you haven't seen it, it's going to be a mix between uh, Dynasty Warriors and the Zelda universe. Now here go a clip, still clips, not video clips because I want to get hit with another content ID again. But as you can see by the, the, the images that I could get, it's a mix between Dynasty Warriors and uh, with the Zelda universe. You'll see popular characters. Link will use some of his uh, popular items. Now, this is a tentative title. This ain't a finalized title. But the thing about it is I like the way that they're partnering with other developers, other publishers, because you know who does the Dynasty Warriors is Tecmo Koei. So that's a really good sign uh, for Nintendo because a lot of people, when I read the comments section on news sites, were highly surprised by this, as I was. But does this save Nintendo? Absolutely not. Nintendo needs newer franchises. I'm tired of seeing Nintendo, which is a very talented company, by the way. I'm not knocking Nintendo at all. I think Nintendo has some of the most creative people, the uh, most creative franchises. But they really need new IPs to sell more consoles because the console number sales are looking bad. And I believe a new franchise will uh, revigorate the, the console sells because they can't do it no more with Zelda Universe, Mario, Kirby, Donkey Kong, because that's all they really showed during their Nintendo Direct event today is franchises we already know, we already seen. And to order for Nintendo to survive, I believe, first of all, stop relying on old franchises. Second of all, get more adult titles. Third of all, get better new IPs that can cater to adult and children and teenagers. Because, come on, this is the same company that created Mario that is just as recognizable as Mickey Mouse. So they have what it takes. Now, as far as the franchises goes, you know, is there franchise fatigue? You know, is it something that's franchise fatigue? That's something that was going around today. Where as far as dealing with uh, next gen and last gen stuff, are we getting tired of franchises? Are we getting uh, 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 tired of these? Let me add, let me tell y'all something. Me personally. I don't care if you release sequel upon sequel upon sequel, but just don't make it with problems, <laughs> Battlefield 4, but <laughs> make it with problems, bring something fresh to it, bring something innovative to it, because if they had a Dragon's Dogma Part 2, Binary Domain, even revamping uh, Metal of Honor Warfighter, I will still support it. Those are like my top three off the top of my head. But Nintendo really needs new IPs. They really need new IPs because I don't see Nintendo going the way of Sega. I don't see them like going the way of Sega of, of no, no longer any more consoles because they make too much money. I mean, but Nintendo, that was a good move with that uh, whole Haru Warriors. But y'all really need to step it up. I'm just surprised, you know, that investors, if, if Nintendo is a public traded company, I'm surprised investors and people on the board is not getting rid of their management. Because Nintendo, man, can be a competitor. Like, you can't even bring up the Wii U now with Next Gen. And that was a Next Gen console. But there y'all have it. There y'all go. Tell me what y'all think uh, in the comments section below. Do you think Hyrule Warriors was a good reveal? Did it shock you just as much as it shocked me a little bit? Go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching. See you later. Thanks a lot.